Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we'll be testing out the new Superliner rugs for the Model 3 standard range. So one thing that's strange, um, and I guess the way that Tesla's kind of saved some cost on the uh, standard range Model 3 is by not including the rugs, um, but we were able to get these off of Amazon. Uh, these are going to be the Superliner ones. Uh, we're not affiliated with them. Um, so just so you know, this is going to be an unbiased review because we pay for these on our own. Uh, we're going to get them installed, check them out, and let you know how they are. Okay, so kind of I took them out of the packaging. Again, they were just all thrown, thrown in there. Um, but I picked these because they had the highest reviews on Amazon and they were next day shipments. Uh, so today's Sunday. We just picked up the Model 3 on Saturday, so you want to get it going. Uh, but quickly, you have the, the back uh, seat rugs. This is going to be for the trunk. Um, I guess front trunk, back trunk, and then back seat. So everything that you need, or, or sorry, front seat. So drivers, passengers, front trunk, back trunk. Um, so everything that you need uh, for under 200 bucks, I think it was like 180 with the coupons. Yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, let's get these installed. Uh, I will say that I'm happy they don't have like that that smell sometimes when you get stuff from from China that has like that kind of like rubbery smell, uh, but this doesn't have that. So that's uh, an initial plus right off the bat. All right, we have everything installed. Let's take a look at it. We're gonna start with the the frunk, uh, and I mean this is a perfect fit, uh, easy to do, pretty small piece. Uh, again, perfect size frunk. You can actually put a carry-on suitcase in the frunk, uh, but it's always good to have some protection. Uh, and again, the standard range doesn't come with anything, um, so this is what it looks like without it um, but this little piece is the perfect fit uh, they even take the time to put the little tool uh, insert to make it you know just look a little nicer so uh, definitely going to give it a 10 out of 10 uh, for the frunk liner let's move on to the uh, to the front seat um, so again nailed it pretty good um, just the you know that the curves and having everything fit perfectly uh, this is great um, definitely you definitely want to protect your liner especially like you know if it's wet or, or muddy or sandy just having you know just simple level, layer of protection you can already see uh, with only having this vehicle I mean only have 30 miles on it I think all we did was drive it home and then we took our kids to the park yesterday uh, but just just a quick little vet I already got sand in it right so just having that layer of protection is definitely worth it so again over here we're gonna give it a 10 out of 10 right now um, I kind of wish it had more of the like rugged, you know, kind of like uh, like like lines. I don't know what you call them, like like the grooves uh, that the that the Tesla ones, OEM ones have. Uh, but this is definitely more of a contemporary modern design. Um, so I have to get used to it. But I'm definitely used to more of the ones like WeatherTech, where it's more rugs, more lines in it. Um, but yeah, whenever you get in the vehicle. Now, my initial impressions are, you know, it, it feels good. Uh, and as far as getting to the accelerator, I almost said gas, but it's an accelerator, not a gas pedal. And the brake, uh, you know, feels great. Um, quickly, let's take a look at the front passenger side. Again, kind of continues with the theme of, you know, it being great. Uh, I will say that this material that they're using, it's great material, but for some reason it does leave like feet print. So I'm just wearing uh, Crocs. I'm um, just like... The amount of like dirt, you know, from my Crocs is leaving like feet print. So I'm, it's definitely like, I'm glad it's not on the car itself, but it's definitely something to note uh, on that. I don't remember uh, feet, print, feet, feet print showing up on whenever I had the original Tesla OEM one. So that's just something to note. But let's go ahead and uh, move on to the back seat, which again, this gets a little bit more difficult for manufacturing, um, having to deal with like molds and everything because it's a much larger piece. Uh, but I will say that this is perfect um, so far. I mean, it fits great. And really with kids, uh, we have two small kids, so they're always, you know, you know, <laughs> kids are kids, right? So they're gonna get things dirty. It's a good to have a layer of protection. So it's not getting on the, again, the upholstery in the vehicle. Um, so it's small investment to protect the overall resale value of the vehicle. So I, I think as you guys can see all the way across, you know, they, they nailed that, that back piece, which again, isn't easy to do uh, because it's such a large piece. So let's go ahead and move on to, to the back. So this is gonna be the hardest thing to do just because it's so large. And if I'm being transparent, as I read through the Amazon comments, the only negative comments that I did see 
on this were just that this was kind of folded and it wasn't, you know, as flat as would, would you know, we'd hope to be. Uh, that's simply because it's, it's a large piece. So, I mean, this was probably, you know, I guess like four and a half by five feet. It's a pretty large piece. Um, and just the fact that it comes in a box, you're not going to have a box have it fully laid out. So it's definitely going to be folded in the box and because it's folded in the box, going to have that um, amount so but overall hey i'm happy with it i hope over time it does uh you know lay down flatter uh but again i'm happy that i have the layer of protection right so I put something heavy back here if we go to the beach and we have you know umbrellas or beach chairs and it's sandy as opposed to having you know it all in the upholstery and me struggling to get that out of the upholstery it's gonna be easy just to vacuum this out so again another huge plus here um and then last but not least uh with the under storage which again this is awesome one of the things that i was kind of frustrated about the maki that we had was we didn't have this you can put an entire carry-on suitcase in here and sometimes like when you're when you're making trips and you have you know things like strollers in the backs in the back they're taking up a lot of space you really do need this extra space so glad it has it uh, but you can see it does have that extra protection down there so um overall for the price i mean you can't you can't beat it you get a lot of bang for your buck for the price all right, once again, guys, this is just a quick uh, unboxing and review of the Superliner rugs for the Senate range Model 3. Uh, again, this is the cheapest Tesla that you can buy uh, right now in the U.S. and around the world, right? So it's just a great option for a lot of people um, who are, you know, just money conscious or maybe it's your very first EV. Uh, for us, we just wanted to, you know, get the most affordable EV and, you know, make the most uh, financially smart decision as far as the EV. So again, you don't get the uh, rugs with it, uh, but you do have some great options. And I'll definitely uh, leave a link in the video so you guys can get it if you want, but it's basically the Superliner uh, rugs on Amazon. Everyone, thank you for watching this quick uh, review. I really appreciate the support for the channel and just uh, people that are curious of just the journey of having a Tesla and especially particularly this uh, standard range LFP Tesla. Uh, so definitely thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Or if you have any other like tests or questions you have about the LFP Model 3, leave it below too. Uh, and ev everyone else, uh, if you want to see more video content like this, sub to the channel. Uh, have a great day, guys. Once again, we really appreciate you.